or because they don't want to give away half their shit. Another 10%, that's conservative. Conservative. But let's say, let's say 20%, then, yeah, okay? That's, that's at least right. You now have a technology that fails 76% of the time. That's insane. People are getting married for the wrong reasons just to say, oh yeah, I'm married. But how can we, we can't quantify that. I just think, I just think that, first of all, to me, marriage shouldn't be f until death do us part. That to me is a trap because over the years you're going to change it should be a five or ten year interval where you go when well, you know how people renew their vows right your marriage license should have a termination video number three we got a divorce attorney that speaks his mind on uh -oh. why people shouldn't get married uh oh it's about to oh, get real tense boy. in here yes it is right here, yeah boy I, we need like a little siren hold on cj and, and those about it's to need an ambulance by the time we done is that threats? <laughs> look Let's i don't go. issue threats yeah, I you issue bring it down on 56 percent of marriages end in divorce Ooh. like think about that's the ones that end in divorce so how many people what percentage stay together for the kids or because they don't want to give away half their shit. Another ten mm. percent? That's conservative. Conservative. But let's say let's say twenty percent then. Okay? That's, that's at conservative. Least you now have a technology that fails seventy-six percent of the time. That's insane. That's insane. That's more likely than not. Seventy-six percent. If I told you there's a seventy-six percent chance when you walk out the door today you're gonna get hit in the head with a bowling ball, <laughs> you would not go out or you'd wear a helmet for sure. But people just continue to get married. Not I'm only curious, do they continue to get married, what ethnicity is he talking about? It's that you should get married. And if you don't get married, there's something wrong with you. So if you've got a girlfriend and you've been with her for five years mm -hmm. and you say to someone, we're getting married, they go, oh, that's great. You know, they don't go, why? You're happy. Why would you get married? Like everything's going fine. Why would you put yourself through that? Why would you run that risk? If you say to someone, we've been together five years and we've decided we're not going to get married. We're going to move in together, but we're not going to get married. Ooh, what's wrong? You got intimacy issues? What's your problem? Meanwhile, 56% end in divorce. It's, it's literally Brain fits lost. the legal definition of negligence. <laughs> it's a negligent behavior. The way you define negligence in law school is when what you lose by not doing something. It's not the marriage, okay, is the people choosing. Lower than the risk of harm. It's what's called a BPL analysis. So the Gotta burden the of not numbers, doing though. a thing not the people. is lower I than the likelihood, that. the probability of harm. <laughs> so BPL, so burden, probability, and loss. <laughs> Marriage is an inherently negligent activity. It's like owning a lion. Like it, 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 you're, because the people are not knowledgeable or educated about the real bad. reasons of not getting married. Because why? Because and, and I'm, I would say something, I've been doing this for over 20 years and I, I still get misty eyed at weddings. Like I still really, there's something in me that goes like, well, maybe it'll Mr. work out for Mr. These Majestic. Two. It's the majestic what? Go ahead, go ahead, T. Go ahead, T. No, go ahead, no, T. finish what you're saying, CJ. It's no. the majestic what? It's just, again, people. People love the the what I call the pomp and circumstance of it, the ceremony, pageantry the pageantry of it. That's the part that makes you misty eyed and all, because it's like wow, somebody's. But at the end of the day, like I've been saying for the longest, marriage is a job. Relationships a, are a job. Right, period. But, right, but we just talk. We focusing specifically on marriage. Marriage is a job, and mm -hmm. the thing about it is. People don't understand that you have to put work into it. Correct. And at the end of the day, it's something to to me that should not be a moniker or should not be a, a banner of your relationship. If it's something you want to do, fine. But it should not be that your relationship passed or failed because you got married. To me, that's where it all falls. If it goes wrong. Okay, so like I was saying, do, I'm curious as to what ethnic group he's referencing. He's, talk, he's talking about all marriage. That's why he just was saying the numbers because it, I don't know when this came out, but that number is higher now. It's like 74% of marriages end in divorce. So that, that was obviously old and that's marriage across the board. That's not just one ethnicity. It's in America, they're, they they literally, that's the numbers across the... People are getting married for the wrong reasons just to say, oh yeah, I'm married. But how can we, we can't quantify that. I just think, I just think that, first of all, to me, marriage shouldn't be f until death do us part. That to me is a trap because over the years you're going to change. It should be a five or 10 year interval where you go, well, you know how people renew their vows? Right. Your marriage license should have a termination 
And at the end of it, you can say, all right, listen, we got 60 days. You might actually have a renewal date. That's like, what I'm saying. Like you got to renew your license. You got, think about it. Every other license. In, every other license. Your you got to renew. Hunting license. Your, uh, if you're a driver's contractor. Driver's license. Driver's license. Every other license you have to renew. And when you get in a relationship and the two of you change, and just because you don't like the change, you want to just up and just leave. So then that, that basically but, you're saying it right there. You're not even up for the change. No, no. That, you're not even up for the change. That, for, does, for the that doesn't necessarily mean that you have have to do that you could just say all right listen we both change let's sit down and talk about x y and z and then if you want to continue it you keep going now hey. now remember marriage is really just a contract government. a governmental contract i don't think it has anything to do with love no. it ain't got nothing to do with love no. it's all got something to do with money because you gotta you get you gotta pay to get a marriage license and you gotta pay to get divorced. and then you gotta pay to get, you gotta pay, to, pay pay for a divorce now just until recently they doing away with no, no fault, fault divorces. divorces right because a lot, a lot of, and I don't want to harp on women, but I'm a harp on woman. They the ones a that lot of women most. was opting out of, of their marriage because of no fault divorce. Eighty percent of women are the, the file for divorce first. So what does that tell you? And we're not talking about a specific a specific ethnicity. That's just women across the board. So what does that tell you? Who's the ones that's really not sticking in it? The numbers don't lie. Men lie. Numbers lie. I mean, men lie. Women lie. Numbers don't. So it's like at the end of the day. What is this really being done for? And I've been saying that for the longest. I'm a principal person. Back in the day, they didn't allow they didn't allow us to get married. We had to jump the broom. The, if you ever seen the movie Loving, they didn't let that that man and the woman. They were interracial. They did not want that black man marrying that white woman. That was done for a certain reason. They didn't want black people to gain the wealth of the white people that they married. So there's different reasons why they didn't even want us to do this. And for some reason, we feel like it's it, we failed if we didn't match whatever these uh again these oppressors created for us. So to me, it's like like I said before, if in the, in in my eyes, if I'm with my woman and me and my lady and we're divine divinely connected to, connected and we are one and we are moving in the light of god and all of the other stuff nobody can tell me that that's not my wife you can't tell me that that's if true. i say that's my wife you can't say oh well because it's you don't all got no about piece of paper commitment. i don't care what no piece of but, paper but said. now let me let me ask you why do you have to go through the government to, to get to get to get married I don't you know, why, it's why funny. can't you just we, we okay just, listen we just babe, I, this I change, change your Did name we you change your name we literally just had this discussion. You know, what I mean, I can change all of my insurance information to you. Um, uh, my medical, I can put you on on my my. Med it seems like, however, when it comes to that, no, however, wait a minute. Wait about a minute. Me? Go ahead, say what you about no, 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 I was about to say no because you're talking about the insurance and all that, yeah, that type yeah. stuff. You really can't do that you legally. Could do, you could do no, common no, no, law. No, 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 no. In the state of Pennsylvania, you could do common no, law. No, but right. I know that. But when it comes to, I guess for for me, from the HR perspective, when you want to try to put someone on your benefits. You yeah. gotta have that marriage license. Not, not in the state of Pennsylvania. You can have common law if you could prove that you've been with this person and y'all and y'all live in the same uh, dwelling. You can. There's a common law partnership that they so call was it, it like like seven seven eight years. I think it's but, but they, uh, I thought they did they were common law. No, so uh, there's no marriage. common. There's a thing called common law partnership. When I worked for Blue Cross, this was a thing. So you could prove that you've been living with this person. Y'all pay yeah. bills together. Yada yada yada. You could put them on your insurance. I'm, but again, and I said, why can't you do that? Why do you have to go and get a marriage license? Greenwash, and they feel like that they have to live up to society standards of what they tell them. Like, how's a person going to tell you what your relationship is? We live up to these standards. Think about it. It happens in beauty. It happens in culture. It happens in status. If you don't make over a hundred thousand dollars, you're broken. All like, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's the same stuff that we just fall into these cultural norms that people that are not even a part of our culture have created along yep. with it and just don't even question it it's, it's yeah. stupid to me because again i know i know a person personally i know a woman who was married to this man they were good for years she got married she started power tripping on her on her wife title she was with her uh husband for a couple years he passed away she thinking okay cool he passed away now i'm a i'm, I'm going to reap the benefits of this marriage well he had this thing called the last will and testament and when she went to the lawyer, the state planner lawyer, to find out what she was getting, mm -hmm. the lawyer said to her, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss of your husband, Mr. So-and-so. Um, I'm reading his last will and testament here, and it says that he has left you the house. And she's like, okay, cool. That's and, it. and the lawyer's just like, it uh, just says here, the house. She's like, so what about the money, the this and the that? Oh, he left that to someone else, and because... 
in his will and testament it says he, uh, he did not want to share or disclose or disclose who he's leaving that to i can't give you that information so she thought that because she was married and i hear people say this all the time oh it's about security it's about security sure and guess what she walked Ish. away nothing because marriage does not secure anything your last will and testament is what they have to go by mm -hmm. so i don't I, when everybody yeah. say that i'll be like that's not true so again why are we doing this I mean, like I said, I th I know in in my case, my marriage only lasted like forty five days, but it was a hassle just getting to yeah. And then there was you got to pay for the marriage certificate, then I had to pay for the demand, the damn divorce. I'm like, God damn, yep. you know what I mean? So it it felt like a money grab. And then in New Jersey, because where I got married in New Jersey. They want to send you to classes. Yeah. What? what kind and of that's places? even what, more money. What counseling? Some type yeah. of counseling? Yeah. Oh. They make more it's, money. I'm like, yo, you know what? Man, forget all that. Think about it. Double. I'm pretty sure y'all together, y'all salaries right. is higher than just you. We get more money off of you. Yep. Yes, yeah, so we want to keep yep. that money. Anyway, we need you to drop a like, drop a comment. Comment, subscribe. Tell us what you think.